All right, everyone on YouTube, I have some interesting information regarding Pennsylvania electoral results for the 2024 election between Kamala Harris and Donald J. Trump. So, Pennsylvania, look at what it is right now, 11.54 p.m. on November 5th, 2024. Donald J. Trump has been at 51% to her 48 for about three hours almost. Um... And this is very interesting. He is beating her by over 200,000 votes right now. Over 200,000. So that would be, let's see, do, 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 around 14,000 votes. He has 14, uh, uh, 214,000 more votes. 214,000 more votes than her. The last two that are being counted are Cambria County and Cameron County. Cambria. What's the population of Cambria? 133,000, almost 134,000. How many of these people are registered to vote? We do not know. Let's look at the results, however, for Cambria. Cambria has the Kamala Harris voters at 7,463. 50% to Donald Trump's 49%. 7,270. So that's another 14... Around uh, 14,000 something votes. 14,000 something votes. Subtract that from this. And you get like 119. It, let's just imagine everyone says it's 119, 121, somewhere around in that range. That'd be 121, 121,000, right? That would still not give her, if she won Cambria County, enough. To beat him. And you got to think that, that he's going to get votes added too. It would not give her enough in Cambria County to beat Trump in Pennsylvania at large. But when we go to Cameron County, which hasn't started counting yet, Cameron County has about 5,000. So she could win Cameron County and Cambria County and get, let's be fair, 128,000 more votes and not beat him in Pennsylvania, period. Yet, oddly enough, Cambria stopped updating their vote count at 934. What's going on there? And Cameron County hasn't even started counting their votes. It sounds to me like these two are working together, making phone calls back and forth. Hey, he's going to win Pennsylvania. Well, guess what? Even if he wins both of us, even if they flipped... Even if they flipped his 7,270 to her and she won the 5,000 in Cameron, it would still not be enough to beat him when he's got a 200,000 lead over her, over 200,000. I'm doing this for the records on YouTube of Pennsylvania because if he wins Pennsylvania, it is absolutely over. I hope you all are paying attention to this, and I hope you like, share, subscribe, get the word out. If something shady happens in Pennsylvania and she somehow ends up winning Pennsylvania, it is shady as heck between these two right now, especially when this hasn't updated and going on three hours because it's 11.57 right now, and this hasn't updated in, uh, let's see, since 9.34 p.m., and this hasn't, well, it says updated 1134, but obviously not because they haven't even started counting here yet. This one, dark gray, dark black, they started counting. This one, not counting. I feel like there's some correlation. They are talking, saying, hey, what are we going to do? He's going to win Pennsylvania. What are we going to do? Keep an eye out on Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way she can win Pennsylvania with these two counties. Especially with the number of votes he already has in Cambria. Subtract or add these two together. Subtract it from 133,000.47. And you will see, even with the leftover numbers added to her and added to Cameron County, there's no way that she would win. So if we wake up tomorrow and she won Pennsylvania... There is no way.